In order to do a Soxlet extraction on my ghost peppers, I need some ethanol, or ethyl alcohol. The only way I have of getting concentrated ethyl alcohol is to take a bottle of alcohol, uh, in this case vodka, and uh, it's 40%. I'm going to be running it through the simple distillation rig shown here and getting near 100% ethyl alcohol to do my succulent extraction with. The vodka is in a 500 milliliter boiling flask, which is in the heating mantle. And as you can see, it's just beginning to fume up and uh, condense on the upper part of the boiling flask. Soon, this will begin to distill over. The distillation of ethanol is now working. It's boiling in the boiling flask, and as we can see, We're beginning to get ethanol in the collection beaker. I only need about 300 milliliters. When I get that much, I'll stop. These are the ghost peppers that I'll be using for this Soxlet extraction video. Here's a quick look at the ghost peppers themselves. The next step will be to cut the ghost peppers up, and then they'll have to be dried. It's a very good idea to wear gloves for this process. I'll cut up the rest of the peppers and then pick up the video. The ghost peppers have now been chopped up. They just need to be loaded onto a little aluminum plate and put in the oven. The peppers are now in the Easy Bake oven. The oven's set at 200 degrees and it won't take too, too long for them to dry. They'll probably dry in the time it takes me to distill enough ethanol to get ready for the Soxlet extraction of these hot peppers. They will dry out quite nicely in the Easy Bake Oven. It's set at 200 degrees. I don't want to burn them, just slowly dry them out, get rid of the water content. I'm nearly done preparing my ethanol from my vodka. I've got nearly 300 milliliters of distilled ethanol now, and that's about all I need to run my Soxlet, so I'll be stopping this distillation of vodka shortly. I have my 300 milliliters of ethanol, and the Easy Bake Oven has also dried out the chopped up ghost peppers. So the next thing I'll do is put the 300 milliliters of ethanol into the 500 milliliter uh, boiling flask that can be seen sitting in the heating mantle. To start loading the Soxlet extractor, I've placed one of these round cotton pads in the bottom so that it acts as a filter at the siphon tube outlet point. The sliced up peppers have been removed from the Easy Bake Oven. It did a perfect job drying them while I was distilling the ethanol. I've got a coffee filter started into the top of the Soxlet body. I'm going to now put the hot peppers into this filter paper and then force it down into the cavity of the Soxlet extractor. The ghost pe peppers are now closed up inside the coffee 
filter which acts as a filter to keep any bits contained and inside and I've also put a second uh, cotton pad down on top as you can see. Now I'll set up the condenser hook up its water and then the extraction can begin. The Soxlet extraction apparatus is now loaded and fully set up. Water is flowing through the condenser and the heating mantle has been turned on. How this works is the alcohol will boil in the boiling flask its vapor will come up the neck of the flask and enter into this bypass tube where it will pass up and into the condenser area. It'll condense, drip down into the body of the slot, which will begin to fill up until it reaches the level of the siphon which will then drain it back down into the boiling flask. As soon as the alcohol starts boiling in the mantle, I'll pick up the video and we'll show this working. My ethanol is just beginning to boil in the boiling flask at this point, so the soxlid extraction will begin shortly. Alcohol vapors are beginning to enter that bypass tube so that they can get up to the condenser. As a matter of fact, they now have made it to the condenser. Ethanol can be seen dripping from the condenser's output at the bottom. It's now dripping down onto the filter pack containing the dried ghost peppers. Even with only the first few drops of ethanol dripping into the soxlet body, we can see that an orange-yellow oil is beginning to collect in the cotton. The ethanol can be seen dripping onto the top piece of cotton. The Soxlet is now a couple of minutes into its first cycle, and as you can see, the siphon tube is nearly filled to the bend as the alcohol level rises in the cavity. We can also see we have a golden yellow color as the solvent extracts oils and capsaicin from the ghost peppers. The first cycle is about to turn over and drain the chamber by the siphon. This will happen uh, very shortly. It's just about at the top bend and ready to cycle. There it goes. We can see the first run pouring back in. That was the first cycle of the Soxlet. Meanwhile, the condenser continues dripping fresh, clean ethanol down onto the ghost peppers. This will fill up again and cycle again over and over 
until the ethanol runs clear through the extractor, then I'll know that the process is complete. The soxlet is about to turn over and siphon itself out for the second time. As we can see, we have quite a nice color of extract. And again, it siphons and flows back down into the boiling flask. There, it's siphoned out. The cycle will begin again for the third time. The Soxlet is about to turn over for the third time. Here it goes. The extract has a nice orange-yellow color and can easily be seen draining back down into the boiling flask. Here's a quick overall view with the setup as uh, cycle number four is about halfway through. Each cycle takes approximately seven minutes with this particular setup. About twelve cycles would be required at least to uh, extract all of the capsaicin and oils from the ghost peppers. Although it can take several hours to complete a soxlet extraction, the process should never be allowed to run unattended. Always keep an eye on it all the way through. Cycle number four is just about ready to turn over and siphon out. We can see that the extract is still a deep orange-yellow color, and there goes the siphon. We can see the Soxlet drain. as the extract runs back down into the boiling flask. All of the equipment purchased for this extraction came from eBay. The heating mantle is a heat and stir mantle. I got it uh, gently used for about $70 or so. The boiling flask and uh, socks body and matching condenser 
came from eBay. Again, as a little kit for about $75. So it wasn't too bad to set up to do the sock slit extractions. Cycle number five is about to turn over and siphon. We can see even on the uh, fifth cycle that the extract is still a good deep orange-yellow color, indicating that lots of capsaicin and uh, ghost pepper oils are being extracted. There we have completion of the fifth cycle of extraction. Parts of the Soxlid apparatus can be covered with uh, some kind of heating blanket, or in this case, uh, an old rag. But uh, I'm not going to run the rag typically in this video, because of course it completely blocks the view of what's going on. Cycle number 10 is about to turn over and siphon. There it goes. It's more of a straw yellow color now than the deep orange-yellow it was on the first couple of cycles. We can see, however, that the liquid in the boiling flask has collected a lot of capsaicin and uh, ghost pepper oils and has become deeply colored. Cycle number 15 is about to siphon and drain. Cycle number 18. It's starting to flow a lot clearer now, so I will probably stop the extraction at uh, around 20 cycles. This will be Cycle number 20. And there it goes. At this point, I've completed the sock slit extraction. Everything is now down in the 500 milliliter boiling flask that's in the heating mantle. I can now remove the sock slit and its condenser, and I can boil the ethyl alcohol out of the 500 milliliter boiling flask and collect it with my condenser. So I will set up to do this. I'm still using the same 500 milliliter boiling flask that was used with the sock slit, but I've now attached a still head and condenser set up to this boiling flask and I will now remove at least 200 milliliters of the ethyl alcohol at this point. 
Once I've gotten the bulk of the solution down, I think I'll switch uh, either to just boiling it out of a beaker, or I'll use a much smaller boiling flask. Haven't decided yet. We'll see you a bit later in the video. This distillation is now in progress, and we can see drips of ethanol dropping out into the 500 milliliter collection beaker on the right. I will allow this process to continue until I've extracted about 200 milliliters of the ethanol. At this point I've stopped the distillation off of the ethanol. I have recovered about 225 milliliters of ethanol. There's still a little left in the boiling flask along with the, the ghost pepper oil and capsaicin. Here is the result after removing about 225 milliliters of ethanol and recovering it. This is the 500 milliliter boiling flask that saw me through the whole procedure. And there's about 50 milliliters of ethanol, capsaicin, and uh, ghost pepper oil in the bottom of the boiling flask. Of course, also in there are the copper-plated steel 177 BBs that I used as my boiling chips to help things boil without going crazy suddenly, which alcohols like to do. Here's the current result of the extraction, about 55 milliliters of capsaicin, ghost pepper oils, and ethyl alcohol. I'm going to uh, evaporate a bunch more of the ethyl alcohol off, leaving me with the super hot ghost pepper oil. The 80 milliliter beaker has been set in my heating mantle with a little uh, rock wool insulation around to trap heat from escaping. I will use this to remove most of the remaining ethanol solvent. I've reduced it down to 20 milliliters with the heating mantle by simply evaporating out to any remaining ethanol until I got to 20 millimeters. It's still quite fluid, so I'll be able to uh, finish it up and pour it off into a storage bottle. Thanks for watching, and that was the Soxlid extraction of capsaicin and oils from ghost peppers. Very hot stuff. The ghost peppers are around a million and a half Scovilles, so what's in this beaker should be pretty fiery stuff.